Yeah, so we did a big evaluation in 2015, or that's when we started, to determine what fuel we should use for the future. And, you know, we compared gasoline, diesel, propane, um, and even hydrogen. And at the end of the day, all the math and all the money basically pointed straight at propane pretty definitively. And so we made the decision to switch our fleet of 100 buses uh, to propane. And so, you know, we invested in a fueling station and, you know, we've been, as we buy new buses, we order them uh, propane. They came to us, wanted to put a plan together for fueling. Um, our system allows them to do it on site uh, with the different grant money and with the rebates, they were able to afford putting the system in at a reasonable cost and they're able to fill the vehicles on site without relying on any outside sources. We help them with permitting, we help them with generalization of where a system can go. Uh, not everybody can handle capacity of this size, so we offer smaller systems. Uh, infrastructure of this size usually takes roughly a week, week and a half. Uh, we convert every type of vehicle from fleet maintenance vehicles to buses, to uh, transportation, taxis, uh, street sweepers. So depending on how many uh, fleet vehicles that they have, or if it's one vehicle, um, we have fueling options around the area. We partner up with some of our locals who have infrastructures like this and make it available for the other companies to fuel there also. This vehicle is right behind me in the propane bus fleet that we have. It's, uh, they're just smooth, quiet, clean burning. Um, the acceleration is fantastic with them and they don't take long to fill up either. We bring them up to the pumps and you know, it doesn't take too long to fill these things up. Anybody can fuel. They don't need special training or special equipment. Um, it's very basic and it's safe. We provide it in transports, so we have a tractor trailer system that comes out, fills them up. We have them on telemetry, so we know when their tank starts running low, and we have them constantly fueled. Well, we have roughly 100 uh, conversion companies out there that work for us. They're on site, they can plug and play is our system. So roughly within 24 hours, we can have them back on the road converted. You know, with the amount of money we save, I can't believe everyone hasn't already switched to propane, especially the people that run a bus. I mean, we all come back to the same place every day. We all fuel our buses every day. And, you know, like I said, it, we're a government agency. So our job is to operate the buses as cheap as we can for the taxpayers. And propane allows us to do that. We have, we have 34 propane buses out of 100, and our plan is to get all the way to 100. We're energy efficient, we're self-stabilizing. It's a clean burning fuel, so it's great for the environment and it's ease of use. So it's safer than any other fuel out there, really. The propane auto gas industry is a small industry. We'd love to see it grow. And what better place to start than right here in the industry with other companies.